Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, today, we're going to do... This is a live stream uh, cartoon caricature video, caricature tutorial on how I approach, how I start uh, drawing a caricature. And we're not going to do any details. We're going to do head shapes, T-shapes. That's it. Like bonsai blitz <laughs> uh, style. And the head shapes and the T-shapes will lead to these eventually in your drawings. I can only tell you what I know. I'm not going to tell you how to draw a caricature. you got to kind of figure all that out. But I really like uh, the head shape and the T-shape by Tom Richmond. So that's what we're going to do. And let's dive into it. And we're going to use a black marker just so you can see. Usually I do it with a pencil. And we're going to use... Um, we're going to use examples from my live events and this, this drawing is for you, Danny, Danny Aguilar. He wanted Sadie Sink. That's a younger version of her. Okay, here we go. Um, so let's start with Diane, our fellow snowbird lady. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. Our fellow snowbird lover, our Florida lover, Diane. So you can see my drawing there I did. This was a few years back. So hopefully I've improved. Now this is... This is uh, how I would start. And I'm going to keep it kind of small and tight. Um, just, you know, to save room on the paper and to show you what's going on. I would start with uh, a head shape. Where is more mass? Definitely above. I like the scratchiness on the board, you know. So let's take a few of these papers out of here. I like to really hear the scratchiness, if you know what I'm saying. So here we go, like... This is very rough. We're illustrating this with a with a marker so you can see. And it's almost like square shape, all right? And we're going to adjust as we go. Eyes I would put, you know, closer together. Hair is going to go way up more. And she's got kind of a let's frame in the face. So it would be like that. So this is what you would do in your head if you were live. But um, when you're at home, you do this with a pencil, obviously. So now the T-shape. She has a very long T-shape. Forms the letter T with the eyes and the nose. So this is how I start all my caricatures. So look at you. We're halfway there. And she's got that funny crooked smile. And again, no details. Don't let the details get to you yet. This part of her mouth is down lower. And she's got the fangs going on. Alright, no details. So I would lay this in in 10 seconds with a pencil if I was live, if I felt like I needed to do it. But you kind of want to do it all in your head. It's hard to do all this in your head live. So that, that would be the head shape t-shape for diane her chin is kind of recessed and some cheeks going on there and that's it and obviously those awesome awesome uh earrings christmas lights <laughs> all right so that that's just one way to get started thank you guys thank you for the thumbs up hey sam how you doing my friend this is snowbird country that drawing. Let's uh, let's look at this kiddo here. I drew this kiddo in nineteen in two thousand nine, two thousand nineteen. So with kids, this is a tricky age. Toddler, you know. Let's start with the head, sh uh, the the features first. Kids or toddlers usually have more mass above the eyes. So his eyes are kind of drooping down. He's got. Larger features for a kiddo, so but we're gonna have to do a little forced exaggeration to really get that 
kid uh, look, that toddler look about him. So I'm shrinking that nose a little bit. He's got a large space between his nose and his mouth. Again, no details at all. Details are not allowed today in this live stream. I want you to not be stressed about caricature. And this is a great way to, to practice and not have any stress about it. He looks like he has a big chin, but he doesn't. It's, it appears that way. Because we've got to keep the toddler look about him. And then we're going to go big with the head. Watch, when you go a little bigger towards the top, that's what these kids got going on with them. They'll get that younger look and drop the ears a little bit lower. Actually, he has no lobes. All right, and that's all I would do, you know. If you want to put a little detail in, you could. He's got braces, smile lines, he's got pronounced lips, but um, that's how I would start that one. Let me see, uh, what would be next? So again, head shape, T shape. Okay, uh, this forms the letter T. That's kind of a long, and this kiddo has a very long T shape. Let's see uh, some other uh, faces we can find. Here's here's his mama, and I've or I've always asked these uh, guests of mine if they wouldn't mind being in my pictures and videos, so they're all good with it. Okay, very different T shape here going on. We're missing part of her head. But that's all right. So this was obviously in uh, Christmas time. All right, eyes are going to be spread farther apart. And a little angled in like that. Now the, the nose is, is up closer. And it's thicker. Like that. And her mouth has a little sideways uh, thing going on with it. Again, no details. So you know I get carried away with it. I just want you to have no stress when you're, when you're practicing. And I would do 20 to 30 to 50 of these a day. Okay, where's the widest part of the face? Uh, jawline to me. She's got the cheeks, all right, cheekbones, but that jawline is really uh, pronounced. Okay, thicker neck. Winter coat. Chest. I just put that in so I have somewhere to place land with the hair. And I would skinny up the head like I did in the drawings. I'm happy with that drawing I did even back in 2019. I, I kind of, I was on my game then. Um, I'm proud of myself. And the hair. And heavy eyebrows. Kind of pointing down like that. But that's your head shape, T shape. This one is a lot more squat. This T-shape is very different from those. Let's shade it in so you can see it, okay? Again, is my way right? I don't know. It's how I do it. I'm not going to tell you how to draw a caricature. you got to learn to see on your own, okay? Here's this T-shape. We might do a few more just to really get it. This T-shape is everything. Well, not everything, but the head shape is even more of it. That's what Tom Richmond said. And uh, Okay. These uh, college kiddos here. Let's hit this one. Head shape, T-shape. I'm going to draw the features first. Let's not waste paper. I'm a big fan of not wasting paper. All right, let's draw this kiddo first. 
um, head shape, T-shape, what am I seeing? Uh, it does... Hit her nose, see, if I'm going to draw a couple, I need to do a few things to separate them apart so they don't look the same. Her T-shape is a lot longer, I think. So I got to make his a little shorter just to kind of land correctly, if you know what I'm saying. All right. I put his eyes very droopy and down, angled like this. I'm going to put these eyebrows in just because uh, it's going to really help. Okay. We're just scratching away tonight. Very easy, no stress. Grab your marker or a Bic pen. I'm using a fine liner. Uh, I don't know what it is. Faber Castle. It's just a no-name brand. <laughs> okay. This nose is longer, but uh, we're not going to do it as long as hers, just so we can have a little balance. So that's a T-shape there. He's got a space. Well, I'm going to push that mouth upwards. And we'll give him a bigger chin. He does have a large chin there. Very, very uh, wide jaw. I should have came in a little more right there or you could just come down straight there's a couple things you can do here you don't have to monkey around with cheekbones on guys i do monkey around with them when when necessary so that would be that okay v-neck yeah this guy has got a great look um no forehead, not much forehead showing, whereas she has a lot of forehead showing. Okay, so keep that in mind. Thanks for tuning in live. Thanks for watching the replay. Like and comment. Love to hear your comments. I'm um, just giving you my way on how I start to draw a caricature. All right, and that's that one here. Again, no details at all. Let's draw her. Eyes very close together. By the way, I don't think she has any whites of her eyes showing. Eyes are uh, kind of not as turned down as, as his. I'm going to skinny up that bridge of that nose. And I'm going to make it longer and wider. I love drawing nose. I love drawing that nose. Her nostrils are showing, so I put those in. A little shading under the nose. All right. That's a great T-shape. I put her eyebrows in quickly. You can outline the eyebrows, or you can go right at it with the feathering. Uh, definitely has some lines under her eyes there. She might not like it, but you have to do it. I'm going to um, do this. I'd say her mouth is very prominent with those teeth. Again, I'm doing way too much detail. All right, teeth. I'm going to draw the teeth bar right here. That's what we call a teeth bar. She does have some space there and at the bottom, too. And then the lip. Not much of a smile line on the young folks. Um, I'm seeing a wider jaw. We're going to soften it up and not make it as so hard as I did in that drawing. I'm seeing a smaller chin. I'm going to give her a smaller chin. That's going to make her forehead look that much bigger. Okay, it's a little trick uh, from Tom Richmond. <laughs> shrink one area. Instead of just drawing an area big, shrink another area to make that one look even bigger. So that's what we'll do. And she's got a hoodie on. I have a very busy caricature weekend coming up. So this is what I do, guys, for a lot of practice to warm up to it. So I just wanted to share it with you. 
Very large forehead we're going to go with. <laughs> and the hair is up in a bun, actually, up top. And then it, it falls down. Very long, semi-straight, semi-wavy hair coming down. And that would be a great likeness, I think, to go have that as your skeleton and then go at it with your, with your Crayola marker. Um, yeah, that's a great one. Um, on him, I could make, if I would change anything, I'd give him a little more cheek, maybe. I, I should have stuck with that, but that's here nor there. All right, this is how I draw a caricature. Um, trying to see if there's any other good ones I should use. We'll do one more. How about this one? All right. Lady on the left. I see a much, sorry, a much longer face than a wider face. I see your eyes are far apart. Let's start with the uh, T shape. T shape is going to be like that. And from what I remember from this girl, she was an artist or wanted to try caricature, uh, but wasn't sure how to get started. I always try to, you know, tell people. I never really had someone who really wanted to learn it, so I'm glad. I mean, I always want to, like, teach somebody, and, like, no one around me is really interested in it. I don't know. I don't know. I guess you got to really want it. And uh, I'm just glad to do it here on YouTube. Teach a little bit. Entertain a little bit. All right. She's got her head tilted, but uh, all right. So that T-shape is okay. Very squared off uh, chin. And I wouldn't get too crazy with the cheeks. Cheekbone area. I think she has a wider face. Or I'm sorry, a longer face rather than a wider face. A lot of forehead. That's why I kept that chin small. Chest body there we go okay so now the head shape we're continuing on with the the long shape earring i see a little earring there a little earring there ah uh, this is okay it's a tricky issue you got her head angled a little bit i uh i think i would draw the eyes even a little bit smaller that's that's what i would have done and really exaggerate uh, the width of that nose and those teeth. All right, the next young lady. And then we'll be done. Yeah, I like that one. I, I didn't even pencil sketch, and I like that one way better than this one. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's hard to see. I, her nose was more rounded. Okay, this young lady, her T-shape is wide again. Uh, very rounded nose, rounded features. Uh, space is pretty large between her nose and her mouth. And I'm seeing those cheeks and a very pronounced chin as well. Sorry, I went a little smaller on us here. Don't know why, it just happened. She's got a lot of hair. And this would be the head shape and the T shape for this young lady. All right, the T-shape for her is kind of squat. 
It's right in here. Can you see that? That shape is going to dictate your likeness, guys. And I, I think this is a good T-shaped here. I think the nose is too big. Yeah, I made the nose too big. That's what it is. Nose too big and the eyes too big. I should have shrunk them both. And here's the T-shape for her. Here's our other ones for review. And I think we're good, guys. That's how I start out my caricatures is with a skeleton, bare bones, head shape, T-shape. Where's the widest part of the face? Where is there more mass above or below the eye line? And if you want to do this all in your head, if you're live, like I did there, and I uh, was on my game there. must have had plenty of caffeine ready to go. Um, so... Um, no, no shame in, in, in penciling a, a 5 to 10 second head shape. T-shape, if you're live, uh, Tom Richmond says not to do it. And a lot of them say not to do it. But uh, guess what? I'm not them. I'm me and you got to be yourself. You do what works for you. It's good advice. You eventually want to get there to that level. But uh, I'm not drawing for Mad Magazine, okay? <laughs> uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Thanks, guys, so much. And uh, here's our uh, Sadie Sink for Danny Aguilar. That was a request. That's for you, brother. Thank you. And always check me out at wackycaricatures.com. And uh, click the like and uh, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Thank you.